What's going on guys, it's Pete from PDicep.com and we are back in the week and I hope you're having a great day, a great week so far. It is Wednesday, known as the hump day or whatever day it's going to be. So my your new 52 hashtag do it if you're on it. If you guys are hashtagging that up, make sure you guys are changing up the way you're doing things. What are you doing today? What are you doing this week that's different than last year? What are you doing? What what experience are you going to tell the world that are you going to tell your kids that you've gone through? Because it's easy to say, hey, I went to work today. I had my protein shake. I went to the gym. I, I read a book and then I went to sleep. That's an easy one. That's a routine. What is it in this month that you're going to change? What are you going to do that's going to break that pattern of your normality, of what you guys normally experience? Because like I said on Monday, in 2014, if you did the right things and you hit all these successful goals, that's perfect, that's great. But now what are you gonna do to change it up? Because if you do the same exact thing, all you're gonna get is the same exact results. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna experience? What is something that you always want to do? What is it? Did you ever want to go skiing? Not me. I don't like skiing. No snowboarding. You know why? Because I enjoy skating, but when I don't have the brakes and I can't stop the right way, fuck that because my bones hurt when I fall and I don't like that feeling anymore. So I'm not going to experience that. I can find something else for a thrill ride. I don't like not being in control of this. It's weird. Okay. Anyway, on the next one, what are you going to do? Are you going to take a stand up comedy class? Maybe one of you, some of you guys wanted to, to get up on stage. When I first started doing stand-up, people was like, oh, how did you do stand-up comedy? It's so hard. I was like, to be honest with you, I said, hey, I always want to do this. How can I get to do this? And back then, when I had to Google something, I had to pay per minute. So I paid a little bit of money um, just to Google, or actually, was it Dogpile at that time? It might have been Dogpile.com as my search engine. I don't know if you guys even remember that. Um... But yeah, I forget the other ones that we had to use, but I always use Dogpile. I don't know why. And I... Googled it, and I wanted to do stand-up comedy, so I found a school in the city that did stand-up comedy classes. And from there, I just took that step, and from that step, I moved on to the next one. And I took a couple more, and then I got into a group, and then I studied on my own, and I bought every single book on stand-up comedy there is, and I bought this ebook and a regular book, and I watched videos, and then I watched my favorite stand-up comedians. So what I did was, I had a goal. I didn't write these down. It was just the way I acted. When I wanted to do something, I would just take the first step. And the first step is the most uncomfortable. The most uncomfortable thing was going to this class that I had no idea what was going to happen. I had to stand up in front of people that wouldn't have laughed at me. And I just told them a story. And from that story became a bit. And from that bit became a shell. But I engulfed my world into that moment. I engulfed my, my, my goal and my life into what it was I want to do. And that's one of the habits and traits that I do all the time that makes me successful. That makes me surpass what other people think I can or can't do. I engulf my world around it. Nothing gets in the way of what I think I can do or can't do. Because if I want to do it, I'll find every aspect of, I don't know what word I'm looking for there, but I'm just looking for something and I'm going to give it my all. I'm not gonna give it halfway. I'm not gonna start it and then leave the page blank. I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna finish it. It's a long journey. I'm not gonna be good at doing something in a year. I'm not gonna be good at doing something in three years. I'm gonna be good when I do it for a long time, for a really long time and I engulf it and it becomes a part of my life. I may not do stand-up comedy now, but the presence and the stuff that I've learned through that and that training has helped me transfer this into what I do now. That's being on stage in front of people, making sure these people laugh instead of thinking about their shitty lives sometimes. Sometimes they're having a hard day and they just need a laugh. Yeah, it's a little inappropriate sometimes and I say some crazy stuff, and, and, but that's who I am and that's what I was trained to be. So using your experiences and using everything that you've learned in this, in this thing we call life, is preparing you to do something better in the future. So what is it you're going to do? What's going to be your story that's going to break your pattern? 
What is this little thing that you might always have wanted to do that's going to stir something up and this little step changes your world and it's going to make whatever that bigger vision is come to life because they're all connected. If there's something you always want to do and you're passionate about it, you always want to do something, it usually links up to what we call the end of your life or your, the, the journey of your life. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys hashtag your new 52 because you deserve a change. You deserve greatness. And you deserve to have a happy, happy life. I'll see you guys later. This is Pete, PNASAP.com. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Tune in out. Peace out with the old channel sound.